Thanks to Skillshare for supporting my channel. In November 2020, the organizers of a scientific competition called Critical Assessment of Protein Structure Prediction announced that a model called AlphaFold 2 had solved the protein folding problem. The model was developed by a British artificial intelligence research laboratory called DeepMind, and in the week or so since this announcement came out, the scientific community has been overjoyed with excitement, claiming that this might be one of the biggest scientific breakthroughs in recent memory. But what is protein folding? Why is it so important? And how do you develop a machine learning algorithm to do it for you? Stay tuned to find out. Though you probably don't spend that much time thinking about it, protein folding is crucial to, well, life. Proteins are in every cell in your body, as well as in things outside of your body, like food and medicine. In short, proteins are tiny molecules that, among other things, keep you alive and functioning properly. Proteins are made up of amino acid change, and the interactions between these amino acids determine the structure that the protein will ultimately take. Importantly, the structure of a protein determines its function, so understanding how proteins fold can help us both better understand our bodies, but also develop things like new drugs. Now, if a protein doesn't fold correctly, then it may be unable to perform whatever task it is supposed to. In fact, if a protein does not fold correctly due to external factors like the local environment being too acidic or internal factors like the wrong amino acid being present in the sequence, the consequences can be rather dire. Mad cow disease, Huntington's disease, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's are all associated with protein misfoldings. However, figuring out how proteins fold is surprisingly hard. In fact, it's been called the protein folding problem within the field of computational biology. And as I mentioned, every other year there's a competition where researchers around the world test techniques that they've developed in an effort to develop models that can accurately solve the protein folding problem. In fact, you might remember one attempt at doing this from several years ago in the form of a game called Fold It. Fold It was an experimental research study out of the University of Washington where people were asked to fold proteins based on their sequences into the correct structure. A 2010 paper on the project found that users were often able to provide better results than algorithmic solutions at the time. More recently, in 2018, DeepMind published the results of their first protein folding model, AlphaFold. Their initial model, as well as the more recent AlphaFold 2, models proteins as graphs, where each amino acid is a node and amino acids that are close to each other are connected by edges. Their model, as well as all the other models in this competition, were evaluated using the global distance test, which can be thought of as the percentage of amino acids in a protein that are predicted to be within a certain range of the correct location. A score of 90 out of 100 is considered to be comparable to experimental results on protein folding. And importantly, while the model is tested on protein sequences where the structures are known and public, it's also tested on sequences that have only recently had their structures determined, recently to the point where it's not publicly known. In other words, we can assume that a model that performs well on this test data set has not overfitted to the training data because it's able to predict the protein structure of proteins that we didn't know the structure of before the competition. Now, as you can see from this graph, for several years, even the best model wasn't getting anywhere near 90% in this competition. AlphaFold made significant progress in 2018, reaching a median score of about 58%, but it wasn't until this year with AlphaFold 2 that we've seen a model that is on the cusp of 90%. AlphaVol2 achieved a median score of 92.4 in the 2020 competition, with a median score of 87 on those unseen and particularly challenging protein sequences. Cool, so a model can predict what a protein looks like based on the amino acid sequence that it's made of. What's the big deal? Well, having the ability to show a model a protein sequence and get back a protein structure is particularly helpful in cases where we don't know the protein structure yet. Being able to get that kind of information in hours or days instead of the years or decades that we'd historically spent on determining protein structure means that we can skip the years of figuring out how the protein folds and instead focus on how the structure allows the protein to function. For example, earlier this year, DeepMind was able to predict the structures of several COVID-19 viruses, allowing researchers to have a better understanding of how the virus functions in our bodies and ultimately develop things like vaccines. It may also help us develop better medications, either by giving us a better understanding of the proteins that underlie the conditions themselves, or by helping us essentially reverse engineer drugs based on the function we want them to serve in our bodies. Outside of, well, human applications, models like these also might be able to help us develop enzymes that can 
dispose of waste in a more eco-friendly way, or remove contaminants from water sources. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, are we going to be able to do all of this stuff tomorrow? No. Protein folding is only one challenge in the fields of computational biology and drug discovery, and as good as AlphaFold 2 is, it's not perfect. However, it is one of the best resources that we have to point researchers in the right direction when it comes to understanding structure function relationships with proteins. In fact, DeepMind plans to make it available to researchers for that exact purpose. In short, and as I tweeted when this news originally came out, as someone who spends a lot of time trying to dispel AI hype, the excitement around this isn't hype, and I'm looking forward to seeing the paper with how they actually did this in the first place whenever that comes out. Now, there's a stereotype that machine learning or science and engineering in general isn't a creative field, and I'm here to tell you that that's wrong. In fact, the DeepMind model is a great example. Designing a protein folding model takes a lot of creative thinking, and if you'd like to get better at creative thinking, then you should check out Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journeys for less than $10 a month. They offer thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. Personally, I've been checking out their iPhone filmmaking class so that I could learn how to better use my iPhone to take video on the go, and it's been really interesting. Skillshare members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. And most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. If you're interested, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership so that you can explore your creativity. Clicking that link supports my channel and will give you a head start on your creative journey, so sign up for Skillshare using the link in the description and show me what you make. Otherwise, if you like this video, you can let me know by smashing the like button and subscribing to my channel. You can also check out my other videos on cool future tech that relates to AI, which is up here. If you want to follow more of my PhD life, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you on Monday. Bye!